بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر and today with just a smaller topic where we see an example through which we understand the AND gate and the OR gate now basically this is your uh, topic from digital uh, electronics side you've already seen in your digital logic and design course the playlist is available on my youtube channel if you could refer it to your juniors but anyways uh, over here we will not see the, the, the construction or the basic working uh, that we will see in the electronics 2 courses in the end where we see the different uh, transistor family logics or whatever that is called that is TTL logic and RTL logic and this and that we will see that when the proper time comes but this is just to understand it through an example and what is that example that if this is a given circuitry you will understand that this given circuitry is working as an AND gate or it is working as an OR gate this might not be the basic construction of that that might not be the basic construction of that fine just an example so the first that we see is let's say the OR gate the OR gate now uh, you know it very well from your uh, digital logics that the OR gate is what it is represented by something like this the, I'm, I'm very weak in drawing the symbols but I hope this is fine so if there are two inputs for instance a b and c so the truth table is what that you would have then a, a possible four combinations so both inputs low one high and then both high so the output would be high if any of the input is high or if both the inputs are high and it would be low if both are low so this is basically you could say a, an addition fine so this is how it works now if I'm given a circuitry let's say considering the circuit like this that I have a circuit this one that the book has drawn so okay and, and then I have a resistor so this is a 1 kilo ohms resistor this is a silicon diode 1 this is a silicon diode 2 I have a plus 10 volts connected over here, I have a 0 volts connected over here and my output voltage is over here V0. So I have to find out the value of V0 and, and commit if this circuit is working as an OR gate or not. This might not be how the OR gate is basically made. This might not be the basic construction of it but we can use it. So let's say we find it out. So first we have to determine what, first we have to determine the state of the dark to be on or off. So plus 10 volts connection to P side and grounded probably in the on state. Why am I using the word probably? I don't know the value of V naught. Later on we will confirm this probability. 0 volt connected to P side and grounded probably in the off state because of the zero volt connected to the P side again probably fine so let's say we draw an equivalent circuit based on this probability so say this is my plus minus 10 volts this is connected to plus minus 0 0.7 volts A resistor grounded 1 kilo ohms uh, and, and, and over here I have my open circuit this is my V naught. This one is grounded. This one is grounded. So how to find out my V naught? You know from the potential at point formula I've already told you. 10 volts minus 0 0.7 volts and this is equal to V naught. I've gone in this direction. So V naught comes out to be 9.3 volts which means the output is high. The output is high, which means that this is acting as an OR gate. If you if you consider it over here, 9.3. So now check out the confirm my probability. I use the term probable, probably. So if we look, 10 volts connected to the P side is greater than 9.3 connected to the N side. So this diode is on. Similarly, over here, the 9.3 connected to the N side is greater than the zero connected to the P side. This diode is off. So the word probably that I used was right, and now it it has been assured by the value of V naught. Fine. Yes.
Now, what is this 10 volts? What is this 0 volts, 9.3 volts? So we are not interested in that. Basically, you know it from the digital logics that you have a high voltage level, you have a low voltage level, depending on the circuitry that are using. It may be 10 volts. I believe it's a 12 volts, 7 volts, whatever it is. Over here, what we are interested in, we have one voltage level is high, the other voltage level is low. So you have a significant two levels. One represents the one. For example, over here, the 10 volt represents the one, the zero represents the zero. Now over here, you cannot use a seven volts or a five volts. You have chosen your one level, so that is it. The 9.3, I am assuming it over here to be high, is because, uh, now over here, we are given this case that one input is high, and the input, other input is low, so the output has to be high. Now, why this 9.3? Because of some drops in the circuit, of course, the resistance drop, the battery potential drop. So we are assuming it to be high as well. So we have, hence, we have concluded that the given circuit diagram, this is working as an R gate. Now, you check it for you. Uh, you can also find out the current in the circuit. If, if you say you apply another KVL in this direction, if this gives you your current I, so you have a 10 volts minus 0 0.7 volts, and then you have a minus I times 1 kilo ohms. I times 1 kilo ohms, of course right and then this is equal to zero so this is 9.3 uh, divided by one so this would be a 9.3 milliampere or what what is the value i have the value over here in the book 9.3 milliampere right yes it is so the value of the current in the circuit comes out to be 9.3 milliampere so I have done for one input high, the other input low. So you take the rest of the cases and you can confirm it that this circuitry is working as an AND gate. Let's say if this is my V1 and this is my V2. So take the homework that you take that V1 is equal to, this is question number one, that V1 is equal to zero volts and V2 is equal to zero volts, both the inputs. And then V1 is equal to one volts and V2 is equal to 10 volt. So this is also 10 basically. So you check for both the inputs to be low, you check for both the inputs to be high. This is your homework. What will you get in the output? The output you will get that from here you would get a zero, from here you should get a one. So you should let me know in the comment section that is this a proper OR gate or not. Well, the second. The second is the AND gate. The second is the AND gate. Now, what does an AND gate do? So it does like this. The symbol is like this. Almost correct. Let's say A, B or the input C is the output. So the truth table would have to do the power two combinations. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The output is high if and only if both the inputs are high, which means that this basically acts as a multiplier circuit. So we are given a circuit. I'll draw it from the book. And basically it's the same circuit. Let's say I have, but we have the diodes reversed. This is one diode. This is another diode. This is a resistor and then we have a voltage source. So uh, wait, 10 volts is applied over here, 0 volts is applied over here, over here you have a 10 volts, over here you have a 0 volts. This is a silicon diode 1, this is a silicon diode 2, this is a 1 kilo ohm resistor. From over here you have your output voltage V0 and this is your plus minus. Wait a minute, what is this? This is a this is 10 volt source again. <coughs> Alright, sorry. 
so now what do you have uh, for the state of the diet to be on or off so have a look for the second p uh, connected to uh, p connected to the positive side of the battery and, uh, and n is connected to zero volt so this is forward bias this would be in the conduction mode similarly over here we could not see anything about it so let's say we say that this is probably in the off state because this uh, p side voltage is connected through a resistor to this so we would have some voltage drop through this resistor and the voltage at the p side would be less than this 10 volts so we we do this on the probability model and then we confirm it later on so let's say the the first one is in the open circuit state all right this is your 10 volts over here as well and similarly the second would come from here this is your p side this is your n side plus minus 0 0.7 plus minus 10 plus minus 10 and 1 kilo ohms and i believe that i have drawn it properly so now what would happen you you need to find your v naught so v naught is the potential at this point so you can find it out you can find it out and how can you find it out so have a look this this is the this is the potential at this point you could directly say this is equal to a 10 volts you could directly say that this is equal to a 10 volts or not no 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 sorry 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 this is an open circuit this is not connected this one is the voltage v naught is directly over here so v naught is equal to 0.7 volts directly you can say v naught is equal to 0.7 volts now the term probably that i used so let us confirm now over here if this v naught is 0.7 so i have a look 0.7 is greater than 0 so drive 2 is on 0.7 is less than 10 drive 1 is off that's fine so v naught is 0.7 which means this is low this is approximately equal to zero so the output is low which means for one input high the other input low we have the output to be low and we've already got it is that fine now if you if, you, if you're asked about the current through the resistor or the voltage across the resistor so you could directly find it from here if this is the value in the current so i'm using the conventional current direction right so negative to positive is po uh, 10 then you have a plus minus like this so minus uh, i times 1 kilo ohms and then you have a minus minus 0.7 and it's equal to zero so i is equal to 9.3 milliamperes again isn't it it is it is so that is it again have a look right you have one input high the other input low and you've got like this so this is confirmed that this circuit the given circuit is working as an AND gate now you can take another homework from here question number three question number four again so question number three let's say again v1 is given question number four v1 and v2 are given again if this is v1 if this is v2 so v1 and v2 are given one state is for both the inputs to be low the other is for both the inputs to be high so find out the values so over here if both the inputs are low you will get the output to be low and if both the inputs are high you will get outputs to be high again you know from the truth table but just you this is for the understanding purpose that is it for today i'm not feeling a little well for the last couple of days it might be clear from my my voice and my volume but anyways i have a cup of tea for myself i finish this video over here and i take this cup of tea i record the next video tomorrow and i'll see you very soon with that topic with the new topic of rectifier circuits till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel and take your tea goodbye